All right, that is going out live, hopefully. So we're in for another wee bit of Republic. Episode 3, I think we got to. So just give us a couple of minutes here and I'll do all the usual nonsense at the beginning. Sorry about that. A wee bit later getting on tonight as well. Shocking, shocking. We're nearly ready though. Right, 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 right. been very much enjoying this game. We're looking forward to seeing what's happening in the story next. See what we can do to help help hope out through all these security cameras and that. Maybe find out who we are as well. Uh, sorry Oh there a boy sneep on he's in already that was fast, man. That was well fast. I'm no in yet. I'm no in. Pardon me. There's me burping right into your ears, though. That's what you get. That's what you get. Your first. You get the double burp. Oh, come on now. Let me into my own stream. Come on now. Surely. Surely now. Oh, yeah. I just got retweeted by at Twitchy's Finest, eh? eh? Can you imagine that? Imagine how that must make me feel. <laughs> Dirty burger. <laughs> uh, why can't I get into my own stream here? Come on now. Come on. Come on now. There it is. Playing Republic. It's actually... Is that a really old advert for Red Bull? Did you get an old advert for Red Bull? I think they made a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> no, it'll just be, it'll be a robot. It'll be a robot. Maybe it is now though. That is what's happening with it. Infinite Woden Circle. Infinite Woden Circle. That's no good. Oh no, it's on, it's on. <laughs> no, it'll just be, it'll be a robot. There we go, there's me telling you it'll be a robot. <laughs> You, oh, you, one of them, one of them, one of them. <laughs> ah. Right, there'll be no more fun now, this is serious, it's a serious game, this is Republic. Very serious. But I like that, I like that. Oh, the voice acting. Put it on chat only. Oh, I see, I see. Playing some more Republic. Good to see you, Gary Campbell. Cheers for tuning in. What are you playing? Is that like, that wasn't me trying to do an Irish accent, by the way. That was me trying to do <laughs> the merchant. But for some reason, it turned a bit Irish there. No audio. I'm out on the beers. No bother, man, no bother. <laughs> I'll do some visual stuff. I'll do some visual. <laughs> right. Let's get some uh <coughs> let's get some Republic on the go. <laughs> class man, class. Right, load game. Let's hope it's loading it for the right place. Episode 3. Episode 3. Episode 3. Republic. Oh, 
Cooper here. That was quite a hair breath escape. I think it's fair to say the girl is on Derringer's radar now. To reach the surface, she'll need to use the service elevator. To use the service elevator, she'll need a key card. I suggest she borrow one from one of the clueless desk jockeys downstairs. Setting a destination marker for the media offices. Good luck. Oh, back into Republic. So we're now getting through that door. Madame Prideau, speaker, listener, warrior, mentor. You say you were born in Marseille? That is correct. That's so interesting because I used to take holidays with my family in Cassis. Mm. We're in Marseille. Um. um in the uh, south part, near the bay. Ah, oh, which bay? I thought this was a buff piece, Miss Sid. I didn't realise asking someone where they're from was a hardball question. Miss Prido. Prido. Hmm. Well, you would know, I guess. Let's move on, shall we? Oh, she's on here. That journalist is quite horrible. She's not very nice. How do we get in there? Can we crawl under there? We can well crawl under there. Get one of those books. Get ourselves a wee book. Oh no, or a cassette I tape. Cassette. Amazing. Wish I could listen to them somewhere. Ray used a blue key card to board that service elevator. If I'm to get to the surface tonight, I'll need to find a key card like hers. I don't even know if I want to go through here, but let's go. Let's just we'll go through here. We'll hope for the best. Take a wee look at our map. Yep, so there's only a level 5 door back there, and there's a way to get downstairs through here. We'll go for it. We'll be a bit more confident tonight, I think. I was watching back how I was playing yesterday, and it was the opposite of confident. It's very much uh, wackadaisical. <laughs> hey, you cannot falter. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. Beaming, beaming man, beaming. He's got anti taser gear on. William Beeman. Bacon hop. Chip Bannister. He's a Kickstarter backer. Embezzlement. Money wandering. He's got a game on him though. He's got a game on him. And you know what that means. We gotta take it off him. You can always P0 him. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. No. No, 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 no. NTR. What does that mean? NTR. What does that mean? Come on, take that off him. Oh no. <gasps> oh, this went badly. This went badly. This went badly. <laughs> I think that's why I was being so cautious yesterday. Uh, mind Derringer caught us in the lift. 
trying to get out, trying to go to level 9. And we escaped for him, but he's tell everybody to look out for us. He's tell everybody to look out for, uh, what was it, 3, 3P0H? Three kind of meant how you spell our name in a weird way. Remember to silence a body scanner before sending the girl through. A simple way to avoid seeing the inside of a confinement cell. Unless that's your thing. <laughs> that's not my thing. So we need to disable the body scanner. How do we do that? And we've disabled that guy's eyes. Which he's not going to be very happy about. There's nowhere actually for us to hide. <coughs> and he's immune to tasers. What about Berghammer? William Berghammer. Kickstarter backer. Right, we could try and steal off of him and then just taser him. Oh, how do we disable the machine? How do we do that? Deactivate, there we go! There we go. How long does it deactivate for? <laughs> Bear camera. Ah, uh, he does. He does. Uh, we could send him out to the... How much battery have we got? No enough. No enough battery. <laughs> they let anybody do it, man. You've seen... You've seen the... You've seen the kind of folk that let... Uh, be security. <laughs> oh, and jokes. Right, right. Right, the guy up there is going to do his in, so let's get back to a closer camera. Aye, that one will do. That one will well do. Oh god, it's pal. Oh, that's perfect if he just stays there. Let's see what he's carrying. Skulls of the Shogun is a turn-based strategy game starring a dead samurai seeking revenge in the afterlife. The gameplay offers deep strategic choices, writing that is shockingly good, and a cool 32-bit vibe that makes you feel cool. I bet those fat cats over at 17-bit are happy. I have now purchased their game on four platforms, not that I'm regretting it. I think I was trying to count how many platforms I've got that on as well, but I think I've only got it on three, so the guy with the robot voice is either better or worse than me, depending on, on what you think about that game. Look at us, king of the stealth, sometimes. Fa Hope. Why was I going to call her Faith there? Pepper spray here. Oh, <gasps> your answer. That's what we want. Situation is clear. Is it? What else is there for picking up? There's a book. Oh no. I need a screwdriver. I need to keep mega vapes. <laughs> Hi! Oh, I seen a floppy disk. Uh, end of last year because I got Retro City Rampage for IBM and uh, Windows 95 and that. <laughs> it came on a floppy disk. Hmm. I'll hold on to this. There are challenges that improve ability and those that merely prove a person inadequate for the task at hand. By leagues, Ulysses fits the latter category so well, it damn near creates it. It's nonsense, without order. Joyce leaves postmodernism unmuzzled, worse than doggerel. To what end should we let our citizens waste the state's energy on this prattle? They squander their imagination decoding nonsense, while their work ethic grows brittle and raw. <laughs> I love all this chat about the old books and the old games in this game. It's the kind of thing that I usually would hear in games like Metal Gear Solid or Deadly Premonition or... 
<gasps> There's not a grate on there, that's that's great. Oh, that's great. Come on, get in there, hope. That's it. Get in there. I want to meet Zager though, we probably will not meet him until like... Right. I mean he's supposed to be dead, but he's not dead! It's a good thing I'm not claustrophobic. This must be terminus. It seems almost alive. This must be what the headmaster is protecting us from. Whatever it is. Scars on her face, actually. How did she get those those scars? And we need a key card for that. This is very Metal Gear Solid. This area here. Right, we need an Omni 4.0, which we're definitely not gonna get for a wee while. Need a key card for that as well. One more camera. Come on, it's gotta be this way. Key card. Unlocked. Amazing. A carpenter's scar. Aye. We'll find out about it. In due time. Right, so we'll just get a move on. Get her up here, because I think. Doesn't seem to be any baddies. No, it's on our. It's like here. It's on like our forehead and across our eyebrow. Not on our chin. <laughs> we get a terminus though, eh? in there. Everything. Need to charge our phone up as soon as possible. We've got plenty of taser but we've only got one pepper spray. That's unlocked as well, this seems too easy. Being led in a trap. The Morning Bell newspaper. Weep says this is where they print the headmaster's lies. Do you think we'll find a key card around here? I hope so. <clears throat> oh, I hope so. Check me out the night, I'm on fire. Accidental patter constantly. No more toothless headlines about board meetings and strategy seminars. Find me something that won't put our readers to sleep. Go on, get out there. A good story doesn't just waltz through the office door and into the headlines. Now. I have a tough obit to write tonight, so if you'll excuse me, I'm going to crawl inside a bottle for a few hours. That will only help you right. Wait a minute. What does that say? Thankfully the snake in the grass. What is this? Always quiet on the on the eve of the arrival. Only hours remain and preparations for the arrival have taken the form of a marathon meeting inside the Terminus Super Complex. The overseer today praised the hard work and doggedness of the analyst in control. Monitoring keeps us safe, the overseer muses, while other countries succumb to a slow and agonising death spent debating the merits of digital surveillance. We thrive on the quick actions 
of our analytic staff. They are the watchdogs of metamorphosis. They peer deeply into the darkness, sniff out danger, and alert their masters to the threats at our doorstep. This is not to say there is any immediate threat. Thankfully the snake in the grass who bit the heels of our dear pre-cows is dead, said the overseer, speaking of Daniel Zager. But he cannot be forgotten. Instead, we must study his venom, learn from it, so that we can create a suitable antidote. A suitable antidote is just what the station analysts, in conjunction with the Prizrak, intend to create by deciphering his doctored manifest te uh, manifesto text. They hope to discover the root of the mental disorder which leads people to commit acts of terror. Ooh. Ooh. Fellow citizens, it is morning in metamorphosis. Bells are sounding, awakening us to a new dawn, a new era. For this reason, we must approach the day with fresh blood, bold thinking, and a return to the unbridled optimism for which we are now famous the world over. Our nation's paper of record, the evening standard, served us well in our early years. But lately it cries out for recalibration, rebranding. We have decided on a new name. And with that new name comes a new face. I think you'll agree there is nothing standard about the woman standing next to me. And so without further ado, please welcome our new editor-in-chief of the Morning Bell, the exquisite Matilda Sade. Thank you, Headmaster. And please, call me Matty. Oh, I think we're going to find out a lot about her just now. She's pretty evil. We know this. And she admires the Headmaster, apparently. She doesn't like uh, Predio. Who I think's a secret goodie. I think she's a secret goodie, even though she slapped us in the face a couple of times early on. I think she's a secret goodie. We'll find out. Right, enough of that gain as a fear. Is that him over there saying that? No sign of the pre cow, is it? Pre cow's closer than you think. I'm here. Oh my god, there's threes. Need to get a key card off of one of them. What you got? Riccardi, what you got? What have you got? Giovanni Riccardi. But most people call me Giorgio. Eh, uh, right. Big Goomba. Johnny TV. Kickstarter backer. He's got a game on him. Nothing else though. What about you? What have you got? Has he got taser armor on? Epperson, JJ Toymaster, Justin Epperson, Kickstarter backer, Toy Isle Assault, <laughs> Attempted Vagrancy, Vagrancy, he's got a game on him, what about you, what you got, why have I hacked that box, what do you have, oh it's hundreds of things to scan, McDonald! A Scottish guy. Sega bomb. Terrorists almost certainly planted explosives inside metamorphosis. That's a bloody good headline. Too bad we'll never use it. If you tell someone there's a monster under their bed, they'll check for it every night before they fall asleep. But if you tell someone there's a bomb in their wall, They'll rip the whole house apart looking for it. We're not in the business of printing the truth. We're in the business of suppressing a national panic attack. Take these printed copies up to the librarian. Let him line the bottom of his birdcage with them. Ooh. Hey Danny Bot, how you doing? Good to see you. <coughs> Cheers for tuning in. Is that you in full holiday mode now Danny Bot? 
Oh, they're waxed. Oh, he can eavesdrop. I don't know which dodgy back alley journalism school you purchased your press credentials from, Parker. But you must have caught ill the day they explained how a newspaper layout should look, if they ever explained it at all. This collage you left on my desk looks like it was slapped together by a blind child. You left no room for inserts, adverts, ears, or bleed. You know the problem with you, Parker? You're so caught up with the substance, you forget that above all, it needs to look pretty! Ooh. They're better than they'll be, Danny, but I get worried about things like that. This game isn't helping me. <laughs> Boy smell. She's really evil, eh? Matty. I thought she was alright at the beginning. I'm a poor judge of character, clearly. Coulson. I've misplaced my recorded interview with the headmaster. If you would write something up, direct quotes are fine, just make him sound smarter than me. Um, who's Coulson? P. Coulson. Who is that? Did he have. We never checked McDonald's. We never searched McDonald's. We'll search him now. Epperson. Oh, we can read. Got something else to read first. Right, so this is to Mr. Clark from uh, Matty. So, dear Mr. Clark, it isn't that I find the office the fact checker to be useless. It's just that we have a superior fact checking resource in these ubiquitous security cameras. Regrets to your superfluous position. Notify me if you'd still like that job with the Prizrak. Sincerely, Matty Sadie. She's evil. Evil. Maybe we can hack that or we can find out about McDonald. Come on then, McDonald. Mark McDonald. From Japan, Kickstarter backer, gamer, gaming Jesus, Big Mac, terrible pet allergies, tax evasion, expired license. None of these people have got the thing I'm after. But I'm gonna try and steal from all of them anyway. He's got anti pepper spray helmet on. But it's fine, I've got seven tasers. He needn't have bothered. Seven tasers. I'm gonna use all of them on the guy with the pepper spray hat. <laughs> Can we crawl under there? Aye, exactly. I'll steal everything and then if it goes wrong, I'll taser everything. That's that's how you stealth properly. Why did I crawl through here? Aye, I'm going to play this white volume. What was I thinking? What the hell was I thinking? I didn't even know I could get through here. Uh, so... No, we can steal off of this guy. We don't even need to distract anybody. I like how there is always like six people watching. Sounds good. Aye, he think that guy, that guard thinks that sounds good, what you just said there, Danny Bot, and I'd, I'd be inclined to agree. Come on, Hope, get away from him. Ice. I wish it wouldn't change camera angle like that, because it's dangerous for me. <laughs> it's very dangerous for my health. <sighs> Seems like a good way to go, though, doesn't it? I know what you mean there, Danny Bot. One or two people always, always get to get all the chatting, which I like. I really like that. Hey, right, McDonald's. Where's the other boy? Is he all the way up there? In for picking up? Nothing at all. Secret hidden treasures or that? 
go up and try and pickpocket through McDonald's. It's probably quite a foolish thing to do, we're quite far away. Oh, that's a great camera angle, by the way. Oh, God. Going in to pick his pockets. I got something. Better than the stealth Jesus games, everybody. Veteran of the stealth games. <laughs> oh, there's a book in there as well, right? Veteran of the stealth games. Veteran of the stealth games. I'll take this. Yes, we will. Did I steal from everybody there? Oh aye, if they have no account or no fingers to type, would they still come up as a person? Eh, uh, that's a good point. <laughs> and it still, it still will not be true. <laughs> no, better means at least I've been there, eh? Folk will have no clue <laughs> what you're trying to say. They'll be like, what does that mean? What's the meaning behind that? They'll be like, he was an idiot, he liked that Metal Gear Solid. You wouldn't shut up about that Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> Bad government fosters juvenile delinquency. And a clockwork orange pays tribute to it. Little Alex must learn on his own not to beat his elders with a cane. But good government has no patience for individual moral improvement. Particularly now that Alex can hide behind the moniker Anonymous. The last thing we need are children free to cavort without oversight. The Republic carves up anonymity to scalp the moral soul. That's right, Danny Bot. There's a lot of that. Kagami Sakamoto. I have this game on Google Play. Nice. Nice one. Cheers for tuning in. Thanks for the chat. Really appreciate it. I quite like this game. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, I hope I said your name correctly there. I tried my best. Kagami Sakamoto. I think that's right. <laughs> my drugs. Aye, some of the ultra violence. That's right. That's right. What games did we get off of those security guards? What games did we get? Oh, we got three. Right. One time I tried my luck at online dating. After a pleasant lunch, I panicked and asked him if he wanted to come over and play some video games. Surprisingly, he said yes. Finally, I thought to myself, I have somebody to play against in it hog. After a vicious rout, he called it quits and never called me back. I wish he would have let me win, even once. <laughs> Ned Hogg is amazing. I love Ned Hogg. It's so good. What a game. Mario. <laughs> no, it's no Mario. What's this next one? Ned Hogg is brilliant though. It's so much fun to fight against uh, another person. At... Perfect. Perfect. Aptly described as a top-down them up hotline puts you in the shoes of a coked up hitman willing to do anything to anybody. I'm not a fan of video game violence, but I can't help but appreciate its manic beauty. After playing a session, it's hard to shake the strange feeling it leaves me with. I don't like it, but I keep coming back for more. <laughs> Hotline Miami's amazing as well. I've not played Hotline Miami 2 though. I probably should. Every time I turn around, a new Nordic game studio pops up and reinvents an established genre. This inventive and atmospheric title feels more like a classic console platformer imbued with indie spirit than it is a mere endless runner. Sometimes I feel bad for Badlands furry protagonist as he gets banged up and rattled around, but he seems to be taking it in stride. I know the feeling. <laughs> I think Badlands, was that, like, did that first come out in mobiles? I think I played that in mobile. A year or so ago. <laughs> On iPhone, but I know it's on a uh, PS4 and Steam and all that now. 
Those were good games. Right, what is it? Where am I? What? Where's... My brother has hotline Miami, I think. Ah! <clears throat> it's very, it's very good, but it is, it's mad violent, like... It's one of the most violent games I can think of. Brother. <laughs> I thought so. Right, so we'll go over there, and we'll get in that. It's just up and to the right, but we need to get by that guy. Better than the stealth games, don't you forget. Taking a risk here, I'm taking a risk, but we'll risk it. We'll risk it. Feels like there's probably something secret hidden in treasury in there though, isn't there? Feels like there's something very secret hidden treasure in there. Let's go for it. Find out if it was a mistake or not. Good, we can eavesdrop, but that guy's coming. There's something secret over there. But we'll eavesdrop. Apparently Zega's death video has disappeared. It's coming from my source in the Prisrak. More likely they just didn't care for the ending, so they're doing reshoots. As you know, in this day and age, nothing's ever truly gone. Track down the unedited version. I would love to compare it to Hair Director's Cut. Right, so she said reshoot it again, so Zager's definitely no dead, and they've sort of faked it just to pretend that they've got more power. Is that the idea? To show that they make them look stronger than they actually are? Did the headmaster make the final cut himself? The final cut, Blade Runner. An old Zager cassette. Is that Zager there? Who is that? What does that say? Your hard work something. Your hard work something. Use that camera. Nah, I'm not gonna be able to read it. No bother. Cheers for tuning in, Danny Bot. Really appreciate it. Enjoy your holiday. Right, can we get into there? Oh, you've seen it in cinema? That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, man. Who is that? Is that Predio? Eh, uh, no, what do you call her? Sadi, eh, uh, Matty. See you, Dan. Cheers, Danny Bot. See you again. You've reached Matty Said at the morning bell. Said. Please leave a message. Hello? Your stupid machine is on. No, no, I'm stopping it. Hold on. There we go. Murray, how are you, darling? You loathsome. <laughs> ah, not well, I guess. I just spent the last hour getting slapped down by the headmaster because you thought it would be cute to create some pointless controversy around my drinking habits. You stupid, phony. Phony? Well, if that isn't richer than the royal family. You're the phony, me, Ray. You with your bogus name and manufactured accent. I am curious. How exactly did you manage to cultivate such a lovely and exotic French patois growing up in Blacksburg, Virginia? Hmm? Miss Prideau? Should I call you if you want me to drop the issue, then you'd better drop the act. Ask me why I haven't shared that with the headmaster. What's the matter, darling? Cat got your tongue. Another word about this and I swear to God, I will end you. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this game. Aye, the old Blade Runner was fantastic. It was insanely difficult, but it was fantastic. I've actually still got a copy for PC. Uh, I'm sure you can get it on good old games and all that now, I think. What was the other one that had Christopher Walken in it? Ripper? Rubbish! 
every last word of it. This isn't how I thought I'd spend the eve of the arrival. Oh, Senor Octavo. I am so sorry. I must come to terms with the fact that I'm at least partially responsible for your death. And now I sit here, adding insult to injury, writing more lies on the wall of your coffin. I'm done. I've ruined enough lives. I refuse to taint their afterlives too. Oh, oh, she's no, maybe no as bad. No, she is bad, but she maybe regrets being bad. Can't believe you've seen all the endings. I don't think I have. I think I watched them on YouTube at one point, but I didn't get all of the endings. I only borrowed it off a pal of mine actually. But I've got, I've got my own copy now. There we go, Matilda. Seed. Uh, Okay, no aliases, no medical history, no charges, that seems a bit suspect. I don't think anybody's ID that we've looked at has ever had nothing like that. She's right in there, why? Are we going to steal for her because she's had a drink? And she's steaming. Having a sweet. Right, right. Aye, that's the way, like, right? that's how we're going to get it. Thanks for scanning. Wait, right, let's scan them. Harold, are you sending me secret messages? Dear Miss Sade, let's not pretend the countdown to this day didn't begin the moment we hired you. As a seasoned newsman, I am disgusted to claim you as a colleague. You lack even a modicum of basic journalistic integrity and... Uh, and your investigative methods are grotesque and unethical. Ah, oh, blah, 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 blah. I have ignored your poorly researched writing for too long. But your article about Treglazov was a new low, even for you. That would... That you would bend truth so plainly in order to defend a man such as him, and to do so without even the slightest regard for the reputation of this August newspaper is beyond the pale. Consider this letter your formal termination. Harold, you f coward! You could have talked to me about this man to man! Wanker! <laughs> Amazing. Aye, what's she doing in there? I think that's her office. Because we're in the we're in the terminus. <laughs> So Harold tried to get her the sack. Letter of termination. He's right, he's absolutely right. She just writes... She writes wise. Absolute wise. Have I made a compelling argument for metamorphosis? You've been most illuminating. And you've been a delight. Thank you for entertaining this nostalgic old fool for an evening, Miss Say. Please, call me Matty. And the only fool I see is the shaky-handed barman over there who went stingy on my gin. Time for one more. I think another time. After this flight, I have two more, and then another lengthy voyage beyond that. I trust we'll meet again. Perchance in metamorphosis. Good evening. Wait, you forgot this, this pendant thingy. You keep it. Well, right, I need to, I try to understand what the deal is. He keeps leaving them everywhere. Does he leave that with people that can be trusted? Or people that he suspects he can he trust? Why does he leave them with people? Left it with the military guy as well. Oh, I like this game. Right, let me 
find hope. R3 actually, I think. That takes me right to hope, doesn't it? Was it L3? L3. I'm getting better. I'm getting better at this game thing. Right, so let's get her moving. Where's the guy in the middle? Veteran of the stealth game. Is that a screwdriver? A screwdriver. This should come in handy. Veteran of the stealth games. Don't wake up. And the steel hangs off you. Leaving so soon? You'll need more than that to get out of here. It's all right. They won't come in here. Apparently they're afraid of me. Oh, what I'll write about them. Would you like a drink? Or would it corrupt your coding? You're a long way from home. I don't have a home. You have a soul. Do Greek cows have souls? I used to. Until one night, I went to bed with the devil. I woke up regretting it. But I did it again the next night, and the night after that, and every morning, I'd look at what I'd written and issue an apology. But that wore me out. Sincerity is exhausting. So I started faking it. As a woman, you learn to fake an apology. As a woman journalist, that's all you end up doing. So what's your story? I'm escaping. And Good luck with that. Do I have a chance? Stupider people than you have gotten further in life with less help. You do have help, right? No. I see. Well, I thought I heard you talking to someone earlier. So what's your plan for getting to the surface? Because there's a pair of armoured Prizrak upstairs who like their jobs too much to let some empty-headed twit with a stolen mobile get the better of them. No offence. None taken. Well, I know a way to remove them. No blood, no violence. You won't have to get your hands dirty. You know what a news office calls their archives? They call it the morgue. The place where old news goes to die. But sometimes we'll bring a story back to life. Sometimes we'll raise the dead. Are you willing to summon a ghost or two? Yes. Then let's see which poor souls we're dealing with tonight. Edwin Chung and David Bowen. There are two data hubs on either side of Terminus, Atlantic and Pacific. Getting to them won't be easy, but you'll manage. Go, now. I don't understand. What do we do when we get to them? We? Me. Right. Find the Pacific and Atlantic servers. I'll call you when you get there. That went, that went very different <laughs> from what I was expecting to happen. Um, can she be trusted? Is she just being used and she's in a position and she can't even escape for? Uh, 
Exactly, exactly. You can't afford. <laughs> I don't know, man. I do not know. Right, what is this? The key card. This key card, compliments of Maddie Said, operates the service elevator going to the surface. Right. And we've got batteries that we can put in our phone if we're out of battery. Which we are. So we'll just use that right now. Is a battery. Aye, she might be, but she might actually believe, because she's had a drink, she might believe that, that maybe we can get out of here. I doubt it though. She's done evil or things. But we heard her, her true feelings about sort of implicating the librarian. Getting him, getting him killed, basically, by writing, writing articles about him, painting him as a bit of a traitor. That was unexpected. You're damn right. Well, can we trust her? I'd like to think so. After all, she let me keep the key card, or maybe she just forgot I had it. Well then. It would seem Miss Sade is stewing in a broth of remorse and hard alcohol tonight. <laughs> However, she does have a solid plan for dispatching those two Prizrak at the service elevator. I'd advise you and the girl to follow Maddie's lead on this. Drive safely. Even Cooper's like... He was quite succinct about it actually, that was well put. Remorse and hard alcohol. <laughs> that sounds about right. How did we sneak by these? Can we crawl through there? Aye. Right, we're going this way. We're going this way. Veteran. Stealth games. Veteran. Right. I wish we could like crawl kinda more regularly. What was that? Pick up. Pick up what? This may come in handy. What is that? Nothing to hide. Solov argues against nothing to hide and disastrously fails to prepare his reader for the truth. Everyone has something to hide. Who can seriously defend privacy in a world defined by social media, populated by busybodies who voluntarily post their lives online, drawn like zombies to link bait their favorite alternative news site? We need a republic to become the information gathering sentinel of history. We fight against those like Solov, who would ruin history for the right to watch pornography without accountability. Oh, this is a good game. Say no the right words. Come on, out of the way. Go. Yes. Come on. Come on. Don't you turn to the right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Should we just taser this guy? He's a wee bit of excitement. No, we won't. Because there might be a oh god. Pretty close here, pretty close. I don't see anything else for picking up. I think we could crawl through there and maybe get out up there. Aye, let's try for that. Hide for this guy. Thought he'd seen me there. I actually thought he'd seen me. Oh yeah. That's why we're a veteran though. Come on, hope though. Everything looks good. Aye, ah, everything looks good. Ricardi. Ricardi Breeza. Right, let's get through here. Get out of this place, hope. 
got the key card. That's all we need. We stole other games as well. We done no bad. <laughs> stole other games. Got a key card. How do we speak with the drunk journalist lady? I'm ready to get out of this gaff. Yep. I <laughs> just by just breeze by Big Ricardi back there. That's the part I will done with. That's it. That's better than whatever I said. Somebody went away when I made that joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's their loss. It's their loss. <laughs> Wait, the Cardi Breezer? No, I'm not having that. I'm not having that on a Friday night. Definitely not. <laughs> right. Is that a key card door? <laughs> we can go through either of those. Right, well, whatever one's got the least baddies at it, we'll go for that. Oh, fucker. Do you hear me? Hello, the both of you. My name is Matty, and I'll be your tour guide tonight. Are you back at the terminus yet? Go ahead and choose one of the two server wings, Atlantic or Pacific. We'll reconvene when you get there. How has she got this number? Oh, it's, I, I don't even like this. She's leading us right into a trap. I here have the key card and go directly to this place that I'm telling you to go. Where they'll be. Pardon me. Hunters are armed, armed goons in that, and the headmaster himself to kick hell out you for being for doing all that stealth nonsense. <laughs> Aye, this whole area has been something not right about all of this. Yep, aye, I feel that as well. So we went Pacific, right? We've went Pacific, which is on the right hand side, just in case this is a very wrong decision I've made here. I feel like we're going to get all our good stuff taken off us in a minute. Get all our good band books taken off us. We've got a fair wee collection of them on the go now. Right, one then hope. What's through here? What's that? It's unlocked. Data keeps best when chilled. Alright. <laughs> what is that? What is in there? Oh, we've got a screwdriver. What does that say? Hard work. Your hard work. Infinite? Inspires? I think it's inspires. I'm gonna go down there and read that. The hell is this place and why is it so massive? Pacific server? Right, I see. I see. We're just supposed to head straight through. Well, we'll go in that room first and we'll go down the stairs and see what's happening. Underneath. Quite a lot, by the look of it. Quite a lot. Uh, right, let me have a good wee nosy about here. Can I believe that's nearly an hour in? I don't want to. you on the right track. Work your way through there to the server room and mind the prisrack. They've sworn an oath to protect the terminus, even though they haven't a clue what it is. Oh, is it guy coming? You know why? You know why it's so cold in here because the data and that. To keep the data cold. What is your name? Yeah, Banff. What's your name? Foreigner. Fern. Fern. Ford. Fornia. Fornia. Do 
Johnny Fournier. That's got to be a joke. That's a joke. Johnny Foreigner, I'm sure is. I think he's got a screwdriver and a game. Johnny Debug, nerd unemployed, OCD. <laughs> Carto Cartographobic. You can't be that. Phobic of cartographs. The sign like cartographer. Vandalism. Possession of contraband. Disney with Or is this guy's for electromagnetic? What? Get me a better camera. Uh, get me that, you know. Oh, actually, that's not a good camera at all. That's good. Don't come round here, Johnny. Don't come round here. Don't come round here. Situation is clear. It is clear. Don't come round here. Hardwired edition. Pickpocket you. Gonna pickpocket everything you want. Let's go over the steel. I've got my post secure. A screwdriver. These are great for opening vents, but they are flimsy and will often break. Hopefully, there's more than one lying around. I don't like that. I don't like that the screwdrivers break. It's alright, we've still, we've still a game off you. Right, we can't take him out because he, he keeps saying nothing to report constantly. Don't see me. Good. I'll come in here and they'll just be full of guards. Oh yes, we've not had that. Oh, this is a cell, right? This is the cells. I was about to say we've not had a... Certain Prizrak in this area of the facility arm themselves with gas grenades. The effect will knock its targets unconscious. Sweet dreams. <laughs> How you doing, man? Good to see you smoking hats. That's some way to join a, a stream, by the way. What's that all about? <laughs> Good to see you, man. Enforce their bedtime. If pre cows are out after dark, put them to sleep. That is a scary order of Prizrak right there. It's a scary order. Nice, nice. Damn it. I was hoping I could... I'll maybe join on again later. Was it going a bit smoother tonight? I don't know what was going on. I think it was just my mobile last night. I was on the computer editing stuff and trying to get it to let me edit stuff without crashing. Welcome to my domain. Oh, look at all the information we've got to give you. He's going to be delighted with all this stuff. Look at all this! Much better. Glad to hear it, man. Glad to hear it. Look at that! Super Mario World. I seen you playing something that wasn't Super Mario World in amongst all your Super Mario World ones that you put out last night. What was that called? It looked like a PC uh, game. There was hundreds of folk cutting about. You were shooting things. It looked like a lot of old games, but it was a modern thing. Starbreak. Is that what that was? That looked interesting. See anything you like. Is this new abilities? So is every every cell thing must have new abilities. Oh, I would like that and I can afford it. What is this? Oh, that would be good as well. Oh, that would be also very, very good. Oh, that would be very good actually. Right. We can only afford two. My man is awesome, he does it. Aye, aye, the sort of Metroid Castlevania. I did, it looked a bit like that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Right, seeing them through walls and having them on the map. I want to be able to see them through the walls, and I want to be able to... Reveal Prizrak locations on the map. Exactly what that, what that boy with the voice said there, I want to be able to reveal 
We'll, we'll let him say it again because he sounds he's quite into it when he says it. Reveal project locations on the map. That's right. On the map. Reveal project. <coughs> I won't try and talk with that again. But we've got it. I've got X ray vision now. It's been unlocked. Come back anytime. Come back anytime. Alright, the merchant. Let's go. Charge your phone up. Good idea. My battery was running low. I know I'm full of good ideas. We can hide in that walker, but that's not necessarily a good idea. Pepper oh, spray. Pepper spray. Yep, I've seen it. What is in there? Hope. What is in there? Oh, it's cool being able to see them all through the walls now. Aye, exactly. I think it's deliberate. I've played a few games that have had sort of merchant references. I can only think of two at the moment, which is like this and Bayonetta 2 and Bayonetta 1. I'm sure Rodan has a bunch of sort of pattern that he says, like, I'm sure I heard somebody say that in a video game once. Bayonetta's amazing. Jumping on to say alright, but I'm off to bed. No bother, cheers man. I'll check out your the archives. Cheers for tuning in man. See you again. What game did we get? If like me you own a next generation portable. Then you have to check out Escape Plan by Funbits Interactive. Lil and Larg need your help. They find themselves in a booby trap laden house of horrors. Get them out of there with your gyroscopic talents and be quick about it. As always remember, Bakuki is not your friend. But Helium is. <laughs> hey Gravels man, how you doing? Cheers for tuning in. Good to see you. Don't repeat transmission. <laughs> Scary city there, did you hear him? Right, I could go down the stairs, I have got a key card. Or I could just go for it. I could just try and get out of this gaff. Let's go for it. Because I want to know the story. I want to know what the hell is going on in this place right now. He goes further away, eh? Doesn't he come further up the way? Yes. This is how we're gonna do it. This is how we're gonna do it. They stole something off of uh, Frank there. Stephen Frank. It's a Kickstarter backer. We stole a game off him. What game did he have? A good. That's when a really good mid. Nice one, man. Glad to hear it. Truth bomb number one. I was a little skeptical that the Super Indie team at Supergiant could buck the sophomore slump following Bastion. Truth bomb number two, when I first sat down to play Transistor, I was confused as to why this wasn't just another action RPG beat em up. Truth bomb number three, after a few minutes of getting used to its inventive combat mechanic, I was in love. Ah, oh, I might stream Transistor. I've had that sitting for quite a while. I've, I've got Bastion as well. Ah, so many things here. There's a lot of great games getting turning up here. Right, I've just melted that guy's eyes. So I'm going to need an escape plan because as soon as his eyes are done melting, this boy over here with the super 
taser proof armor isn't going to be letting us through today. He's got an anti pepper spray hat. This is uh, this is Republic uh, on PlayStation 4. Republic, and this is episode 3. But I'll only be playing for a wee while longer because I'm up early as F tomorrow. Uh, we're about nearly halfway through the game, I'd say. How are we going to get by this boy? How are we going to do that? I've got an idea. I've got an idea. McCarthy. Christopher McCarthy. The dude. Mitch. He's got a game on him. And he's got an arc suit. Which means he can't be tasered. Which is a shame. <laughs> it's a real shame. Exactly, I'm self-censoring the but where is he going? Oh, we could see if we're really fast, we could just pelt it by him. Let me just have a wee nosy though. Let me just be nosy a minute. Right. I, what do you think? Should we just go for it? That's the door. Right, we're gonna go for it. I've decided. Oh, we've chosen badly. We've chosen so badly, haven't we? Who, what, what said that? Who said that? Hide, hide, hide. I hope they can't see me here. I hope as well. I hope as well, hope. I s you know me, Gribbles, man. I'm always self censored No, don't go in there. Oh, no. Better raise the threat level. What do you mean, better raise the threat level? Better put the threat level down. Where is that guy? I'm supposed to be able to see you through walls now, guys. Oh no. No. Still for him. Where does that guy went? Why did he go in there? Damn it, McCarthy. That would have gave us a fright if I'd went through there and he actually... Right guys, <laughs> John had lost his marbles. I repeat, marbles have been lost. Threat level is back to normal. <laughs> In a really shaggy carpet. <laughs> Possibly. I used to have marbles when I was a boy. And you're right, they have been missing. Oh, damn it McCarthy, come on through. Is that... Is that McCarthy? There he's there. There he's there. Right. That's it, McCarthy. That's the way. That's the way. Straight. No, no, just into there, though. Damn it. Damn it, McCarthy. We're not going to be able to get by you. He's no immune to pepper spray, is he? We could pepper spray him. Get that, didn't you? They know he didn't almost catch you. We put the pepper spray in his eyes. I'll check it, I'll check it. I'll check my <laughs> my shaggy carpet out. Right, wait. We had to emergency pepper spray that guy. And we're not gonna be able to do that anymore because we've actually ran out of pepper spray. Which is a problem. It's a very real problem there. We could lock that so that McCarthy doesn't come back through here raging, but you can tell, you can tell he's going to be deeply, deeply upset and saddened by uh, our actions. Because he just, just wanted to take us back to jail and we, we gave him the pepper spray right in the eyes. Learn. The Overseer is a glutton for raw data. He's already cleaned his own plate. Now he's eating off yours, mine. And everyone you've ever known. That's a good way of putting it. A reason data is a crime notify control with servers near capacity. I tell you. Hard drive on my computers. Not near capacity. Right. Oh, there's so many folk in this area. This is the biggest area the game's put me in, I think. It's a lot like Metal Gear. I love it. Love it. Right, we've got a key card, haven't we? We've got that though, I think. 
we better have it, or there'll be trouble. <laughs> right, we could hack that thing and it might have pepper spray in it, so it's worth it. Hide, but why do I keep calling her Faith? We've not got that key card. Then he tell me. Then he tell me McCarthy had that key card. Right, John, this game doesn't seem like a bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna get coffee elsewhere. No bother, man. Tears for tuning in, Gribbles. See you again. <laughs> it's a stealth game, Gribbles. Better than the stealth, mind. Mind how I keep saying that and nobody believes me. No bother, man. That's nice of you. <laughs> Right, Brown. What have you got? You've got a game on you. Duncan Brown. Hmm. Is that door with the keycard exactly where I'm supposed to go? No, it isn't. He? Going straight up there. I kinda do actually, I kinda do. I mean, there's one or two that I would say naughty. But probably only one or two. Roger. 